and uh, I have come a little bit late because I was going to set up the stream and then my roommate was like, Ethan, have some quinoa. And I was like, you know what, that sounds pretty good. Anyway, the first game that I have to play is called Sky Rogue. I think it's like a twin stick shooter or something. Let me set the properties real quick so that everybody can see it. <laughs> Sky Rogue. Here we go. We play in English. Sky Rogue. Now, this bundle was like 5,000 games for $5. So not every game is going to be a banger here, okay? This is just an advanced uh, warning, I suppose. Oh, it's got multiplayer as well. I don't know whether or not this is going to be a banger. Let's give it a shot. Maybe I should have clicked the tutorial first, but... Arcade controls, x-axis, banks, left, and... Arcade controls? Uh, oh, good for mouse and keyboard, okay. I'm gonna try that out. The graphics are simple, but I, what the fuck? Steer the aircraft in all directions, roll to the left and right. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm getting... This is nice, I think. Situational awareness is key. Take a look around. Oh, I can... Ooh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Hey, Coulson. This is called Sky Rogue. Neum. Yes, indeed. And basically, uh, last time I was streaming, I think you had to leave before I said this, but I actually got a bundle of like 5,000 games for $5, and I basically want to go through the games on stream. And I started... That was actually something I wanted to do like last summer. And I played like two games, and then I just didn't. Oh, I didn't go back to the bundle. So I'm doing the rest of the games now. And the next one on the list is Sky Rogue, which is what I'm doing. Speed up and slow down the aircraft. Go to max W and S. Oh shit. Okay. Uh oh, I'm stalling. Oh shit, I'm stalling. Shoot down the target drone. Fly into range. And wait for a lock on. When locked, fire your missiles. Okay. I'm liking this game. Oh, is that a lock? Let's see. Yes, it is. Kaboom. Off to engage several hostiles at once. Target the second enemy arrow. Okay, now we have to skedaddle. The oh, shit. Oh, I have to slow down. So I can turn faster, right? Except not stall. Oh fuck, this guy's doing some maneuvers here. But I got- oh shit. Okay, this guy's kicking my ass right now. Here we go. Bam! Easy! Space? Oh, you can- Oh, you can do that to track them, alright. Easier to pursue a target if you track it. Toggle tracking on and off. Arrows armed with multiple weapons. Choose rocket now. What is this? Flare, micro, rocket. Okay. A special ability. Currently have countermeasure flares that distract enemies. Oh, what the fuck? Your arrow can dodge to avoid incoming fire. Bam. Do a barrel roll! Each island has a primary target. Destroying it is your main objective. Find and destroy the one on this island. Well, I see it. I see it right there. Did that work? 
Oh shit, 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 shit! Alrighty then. Have I checked BMG Drive yet? Oh, is that the song? Hang on. Let me put that on. Oh no, that's the game. Oh, it's a vehicle simulator, okay. That looks like it's fun. It's twenty four ninety nine though. That that's a pretty heavy price tag. What was that one song that you were talking about? It was uh it excuse me, it was like boss something. Oh give me a second, I need to I need to blow my nose. Oh, boss fight by knock him out. Okay. I'll put on boss fight. Oh, look, I'm on YouTube and I can see myself streaming. Fun fact about the Star Fox character. Do ballistic first? Fine. Fine. I'll do ballistic first. Ballistic remix by Retrospector. Fun fact about the Star Fox guy is that he also voices the soldier for TF2. Ballistic, the Retrospector remix? This one, maybe? Oh, no, wait. He's got Mrs. Three, two, one, go. Retrospector, Ballistic remix. Is it supposed to be like a Friday night Funkin video or am I just watching the, am I watching something wrong? Because this is like a, a video game playing the song and it's got like the dancing arrows. Okay. The woman in the background looks very scared. It's called Witty Mod. I've been seeing Friday Night Funkin' come up a lot, but I haven't actually played it. Oh, that's the base. I was, I was thinking about shooting the base. How do I increase my speed? W, right. Meow. Locking in. Oh shit, that's a flare. How do I switch weapons? Q? Yes, there we go. You. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh shit, no! Okay, I need to work on my dive bombing. Your app pride might die. 
That happens like every time, dude. There we go. And will that blow it up or do I need more? Yeah, I'm shooting all my freaking thingies. Oh shit, that's not the switch thing. Do I just use rockets? Oh fuck. Oh! Okay, slow down. Turn. Don't stall though. Don't stall. Shit. Will it just fucking die? There we go. Okay, mission complete. Land on the carrier to proceed to the next island. Oh, okay. I might be switching up my streaming schedule because I'm looking at some... I'm looking at a dojo for black belt jujitsu and kickboxing. My roommate is actually doing kickboxing there. I'm more into the black belt jujitsu. At least I think I am. Right now, black, black belt, I mean Brazilian jujitsu. Bam. Beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, I might have to switch around my streaming schedule so that I can do that. Because some of the some of the class times are like... Okay, hang on. Oh, it's a little song. Okay. Oh, I have a gun. Die, you sons of bitches. Get frickin' wrecked, kid. Okay. Switching to rockets. Uh, no, wait. Micros, yeah. Oh, shit. Let's just shoot rockets at the X-Lab. Did I win? Pull up, that's ridiculous. I've got a ship to take out. Oh my gosh, I missed every, every single one missed. That's fine, I have my micro. Oh, they're shooting back. What? Oh no! Oh, and the drones are after me too. Oh, hang on, I'm off of chat. Oh, she's scared because Woody is po he's possessed? Uh-oh. Well, Woody needs to sort that out. Yeah, mission co Wait, that was just the mission? Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to shoot at the ship. But then what's the point of all this stuff? That's a flare. This is my micro. I'm gonna take this thing out. Pew! Pew! How do I switch targets to space? Yeah, there we go. Oh shit. Rogue One is taking heavy damage. Oh shit! I got cocky. I got cocky. Okay, now for boss fight. Womp. Oh, I can research. Cluster bombs. Javelins. Or the diamondback. Fire from behind? Let's try the diamondback. What the fuck is this? A light fighter. Extremely agile. Let's go with that. Oh my gosh, here we go. Now we've got a main menu. Okay, let's check out the loadout. Medium fighter? No, we go with the... Which one? I think I 
I had a new. Here we go. Q. Gotcha. Boom. Ba da ba da ba da. Micro missiles. Here we go. And then we launch. I think. Mm hmm. So geometry that song, huh? Video game music is like a new genre. Okay, mission complete. Returning to base. Base is boosted. I repeat, base is boosted. Targeting enemy. Preparing to engage. Entering radius. Oh, fuck. We got a MIG on the radar! Goost, what are we gonna do? Leave it to me. Oh fuck. Except I can't aim. Aim! Aim! Lock. Pew! So why, why is all of this stuff just optional? It's like, yeah, you could destroy the people who are trying to kill you. You know? Or you could just let them be. Let's try not to die. As I say that, I'm <laughs> making it very hard not to die. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna go back to the carrier. I'm not trying to do this this incredibly long mission. It takes like three minutes. So that was uh, Sky Rogue. I imagine all the levels are just going to be kind of like that. So I'm going to move on to the next game. And the next game is called A Short Hike. Maybe I should lower the volume on that so that we can actually hear the game. And then I also need to change the properties, excuse me, so you can see a short hike. Am I supposed to do something?
Press Z to start. Actually, this might be one of those ambiance games. So I'm going to pause the music. New game. I never get tired of this view. Claire. Claire with a lowercase c, okay. You're going to have a great time here this summer. I think... It'll be good to get away from the city, Claire. And take a break from everything else going on. Are you still awake? <laughs> Maybe. Hold on a little longer. We're almost to the ferry. A humble original. <laughs> Alrighty then. Give me a second. Hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you all day. You been busy? Uh, kinda. Well, not really. I've just been waiting around for a call. Well, there's your problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. You might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. That's where the hawks hang out. Oh, yeah, I guess. But that's pretty far, isn't it? It's not that far. We've all made the trek before. I figured you would have gone already. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to go, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, today is as good as day as any. Just take White Beach Trail and head north at the fork. Then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. No problem. Okay. What's in the cabin? Nothing's in the cabin. So I thought at first that I'm a penguin. But maybe I'm some other bird because this doesn't look like Antarctica. It's a sandcastle. Can I like jump? Ooh. That's my... It's useless without reception. Not even the games work offline. Okay. Oh, is that a shell? I found a shell! Maybe I am a penguin. What do I do now? Oh, I just hit Z. Can I swim? Oh, I can jump. Look at that. Oh, I can glide! Okay, this is... I'm liking this. How far can I swim? Oh. Oh, shit. I'm just running up a freaking mountain. I don't even remember where I am anymore. A stick. Alrighty then. Back to Hawk Peak Island. Well, I should probably go to Hawk Peak Island if I want to get to Hawk Peak, right? That, oh, I got a coin as well. It makes sense. Here's the plan. I'm going to climb up here. And then I'm going to jump off and glide to Hawk Peak Island. Yeah. Okay, that didn't really do anything. <laughs> it would have been faster just to swim. Whatever. Whatever. 
So what the hell is the bridge? Who is this? Hey you! Find me 15 shells! I want them. Okay, good job, kid. It's a secret, alright. Well, I've got one shell. That's the second stick. Is this like a crafting game or something? That's another shell. The Ranger's Cabin. White Coast Trail. Oops. Oh, that's the bridge that we saw from the other angle. Is this a coin? Yes, it is. And that's a shell. A she shell. On the she shore. It's a frog and a treasure chest down there. Okay, so Hawk Peak Trail is this way. But I want to talk to this frog first. Or maybe just take his treasure. Hell yeah. What you gonna do, froggy? Jamming out on the beach, building a sandcastle. So that's why he's got a shovel. That's <laughs> just how shovels are. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what we need a shovel for, but if we can find a tiny one, we'll be able to trade. So this is Hawk Peak Trail, so... Hey, it's a fox. Is that a monocle? No, it's just his eyes. I was planning on a hike into Hawk Peak. But the path suddenly got really steep. And I'm a lazy asshole, so I don't climb steep things. Oh, he needs a golden feather? And they sell him at the visitor center. Okay. So why aren't you at the visitor center, pal? Yeah, that's what I thought, because you're lazy. Ooh, that's a treasure chest down there. But I'm just gonna fly- what the? Hello? Uh-oh. No, I don't- I don't want to go talk to those people. I need to go to the visitor center. Is that a playground? That's also a chest down there. Hey, lizard dude. Being a bird is so overpowered. That's a wind thingy. Where's the visitor center? It's straight forwards. This way? Hey! Howdy! How can I help you? Oh, we do. You can buy 40 coins. Alrighty then. I guess I have to go look at. Oh, what? Dang, I'm pretty close already. I just have to get. To these tr oh shit no I just have to get to these treasure chests am I like at a summer camp or something but it doesn't feel like one it's it feels more like a park oh sh I have the perfect amount how convenient game Howdy! What's up? I would like to buy a golden feather. Oh, yeah! If you press Z while in midair, you can flap your wings for a double jump. To climb a wall, push against it and hold Z. The more golden feathers you have, the more you'll be able to climb and fly. Oh, okay. So this is a stacking item. So I can climb? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, so you're red. This is like Celeste. This is like... This is literally like Celeste. Except it's 3D, kind of. Oh, it is 3D. But the, the camera view is... Oh! That's a toy shovel. Gonna be able to trade that to the dude. Ranger's cabin. Oh, okay, so I need to... I think I went this way to get to the... Oh, no, that's where the kid was. I need to figure out where the trail is. Here's the frog. I 
And now I have a shovel. Space on your inventory and equip it. Keep it fresh. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. And then just up here should be the place with the climbing. Hello, Fox. I bet you wish you had 40 coins. Oh, shit. Heck yeah, a pro gamer move. Blackwood Trail, Hawk Peak. Okay, I'm still going on the Hawk Peak. Hawk. Hawk Peak. Do th does this work? Oh my gosh. What kind of game is this? This is crazy. Things kind of lose color after their distance, but... Dang, I can even see the people walking around. This must have been tough to construct. <laughs> That's kind of a dangerous path. But you know what? You need to take risks sometimes. Hey, it's a doggy. Doggy! Hey, yo! How's the hike treating you? I know, right? The view from the top will be so good. Yes. He's going to hot. Oh, he's not going to Hawk Peak. He's going to Outlook Point. Say maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I can swim. Yeah. Why? Why walk up the path when I can swim upstream and somehow be faster than this guy? I'm a legend. A bird that can swim and f glide, not fly. Can't fly yet. Maybe I am a penguin. Who knows? Okay, outlook point. That's the wrong way. I want to go to Hawk Peak. Meow. This kind of reminds me of that one Mario game. That I haven't, I've never played, but my friend Alec talks about. Ooh, pennies. A lot of pennies. All in a line. As if they're leading me somewhere. As if there might be a trap at the end of this trail. What is this? Rubber flower. Official flower. Oh my gosh. Who cares about flowers? Something, something, water balloon. Water bucket. Something. Okay. So you can put a bucket in a mop for this wet ass water. So I can't double jump, but I can glide. And I assume I hit space to use the water on something. It might be more useful on the trail. Hey, a stick. Where did the water go? Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay. Who's this guy? Hey, kid. You want to buy some golden feathers? Yeah, okay. 100 coins. Dang, bro. Seven? How high can I get right now? Dang, okay. So seven. I need six more, so six times forty. 
is a lot. That's a lot. Over, I need like 240? Damn. But look at this. Oh, look at that. Woo! Shit! No! You bastard. I just have to look for something else. What is this? Also, I guess I don't take fall damage. And there's no inside, okay. Inside is not allowed. Why is there a tractor on the side of a mountain? Who is going to farm anything? Yo. It's a cemetery. <laughs> What's this lifeguard have to say? Oh, he's... Oh, are we going to play volleyball or something? Or tennis? This is a tennis court? Hey, Julie. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, we're going to play volleyball. Uh-oh. Beach stick ball. Okay. Yada yada yada. Step over to the other side of the court and I'll teach you everything I know. Let's do it. <laughs> Rule number one. Hit the ball with your stick. Yeah, hit it real hard. Rule number two. Don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part, Julie's a ref, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three. Believe in yourself. Wow, it's, it's, I'm liking this game. Ready, set, go. How do I hit? How do I hit? How do... Shit. You can never lose. Everyone wins. Except if you pop the ball, then I guess you lose. It's a coop game. <laughs> How do I... Oh, shit. Did I hit it? How do I hit the ball? Oh, like that. X. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm a legend. I'm a legend. I'm so good. Uh oh, maybe not. Six. He counted seven. The serve doesn't count. What? Let's try again. I was pretty close to that prize. Boom. Boom. Let's not care about the aimbot that I have. Because oh shit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let me see how far I can go. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, s fuck. <laughs> Alright, what's the prize? A golden feather, look at that. I didn't even have to pay. Ooh, now it can flap twice. This is a fun game. Oh no. <laughs> D 
do, do, do. I'm gonna just jump off the cliff this way and see what's up. Oh, money! And a treasure chest. Oh! I can't get up there. Are you serious? Please, please let me up there. Let me up there. No. Hang on. I can do this. Come on. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Like that? Okay, I'm fucked. Maybe this is higher, I think. Oh, no chest. No chest. Swimming time. It's a boy. Oh, I can't go past the boy. back at the graveyard again. Oh, it's raining. I am, I'm digging this game. The other game is not... It doesn't look nearly as fun as this. <laughs> is this a pickaxe? Am I playing RuneScape now? Why are there so many pickaxes? Why do I have three pickaxes? Lighthouse has something good for me. And I can't climb that. Okay. And I know I can't go indoors, so... I'm gonna have to find a really high place to jump off of. I can already get... I can almost get two more feathers. See you later, turtle dude. Where am I going? Oh, that's a hole. This is like Fable, isn't it? Press... Wait a minute, that's a pickaxe. I need... How do I use this? Z. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Am I hitting the wrong place? Oh yeah, there we go. That's a bunch of coins. <laughs> this is like Fable. They give you a spade. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the fox down there. Hey, fox. Which means that I'm close to the visitor center. I'm gonna grab this chest real quick. Who's just leaving chests around here? And why do I think that anything that's in the chest belongs to me? Heck yeah. Cruising on down Main Street. Oh yeah. They only have three feathers? Oh, so that guy who's charging 70 a pop is doing the stuff. Alright, I see how it is. They have a hat, but I can't buy the hat. So now I need like 70. Oh! <laughs> Alrighty then. I'll take it if I can ever get good enough to climb up the thing. Bam! E easy peasy. Oh yeah, four flaps for me. Do, do, do. Oh. Okay. And I have to go talk to that dude about buying feathers off of him for 70 thingies. I'm not sure I'm going the right direction. Actually, I don't think I am at all, but I'll find him eventually. Hey, a chest. How many coins do I have? Okay. I could buy that hat. But then I wouldn't have any money for those golden feathers. Oh, this is Hot Peak Shore right here. Okay. Yeah, once I go down enough, it knows. I don't remember doing this part of Hot Peak Trail. Okay. I come up here and I go this way. And that's where the dude is. Fine. Damn. And now I've got a golden feather. Great. I have five out of seven. Three, four, five. I can fly pretty darn high. Can I climb this with just five? Oh, 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 so close. What's that building down there? There is nothing on here. There's the chest over here. With more monies. And there's a guy over here. He looks like a walrus. It's going good. The fish are biting today. Let's learn how to fish.
X. Yeah. And I got a fish. 69 centimeters. Now we're playing Stardew Valley here. <laughs> is that the same frog dude? Or is that a different frog dude? Equip my shovel again. There we go. <laughs> oh, is this a, like a race or something? Oh, I'm faster than all y'all. Yeah. Don't skip leg day. Meteor Lake Overlook. Okay. I'm going to head over to Meteor Lake Overlook. Or maybe this is it. Because I can see Meteor Lake from up here. It's dangerous to go slow. Blackwood Trail is where the, the headband thing is supposed to be. Imagine needing legs. This guy's David Goggins, apparently. Oh. The entire thing is, I just ran in a big freaking circle, okay. Gotcha. Oh, in that case, I need to head back over there to where the Blackwood Trail was. I can get pretty high on five feathers. Oh, oh my gosh, can I hit this? Can I hit this? Can I hit this? I can hit it! Please! Yes! No! Okay, I'm definitely getting this. Are you kidding me? Just underneath the railing. So if I go up, jump off of here, it should be good. Come on, come on. Yep, there we go. Big chests, right? Oh, an entire feather. I almost have enough to get to the peak. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the peak. And then I'm gonna switch over to the third game. Cause come on, I got six out of seven feathers. Is that a volcano? Don't switch the perspective on me. Is it going to blast me up? Or what? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. Who's down here? It's a toucan. This updraft is on point. Get some sick dyes on it. That sounds nice. How many shells do I have? I have eight shells. So I'm like halfway to getting what that little kid wants. Do 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 do. Whoop! Once I get like nine feathers, I'll be able to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, maybe, maybe eight. Zoom! 
the ship. It hath the booty. A treasure map. Okay, let's go to map to the booty. Some of the games on this list are actually on my wish list on Steam, like Overworld. I was thinking of uh, getting Overworld on Steam, and I just looked at the bundle today, and it's on the fr like the front page of the bundle. So that's like nine ninety nine that <laughs> I've saved. Hello, treasure chest. Okay. Can I stand on the branch? Who knows? Maybe not. If I can fly around, what would the point of standing on the branch be? Oh, that's a cemetery, but from a different ink. Oh no, it's a different part of the cemetery. There you are, Buster. If I get this right. Bam, monies. People burying cash all over the place. Is this Blackwood Trail that I'm on? Hello. I don't remember seeing- oh shit! Alright, I've got all the feathers I need, I just need to get to the trail. I feel like if I go low, I'll be able to- going low is probably the wrong option, because mountains get skinnier as you go up. But well, since I'm already going low, Greetings. If I go around the mountain, eventually I'll come back to the point where the campground is. And I'm back at the cemetery, okay. So a new plan, just go up the mountain as far up as possible. Hello! Avery Quest Parkour Racing Master. Find someone to practice with. Any chance you want to go for a race later? I need to find the thingy. Oh. So there's the geyser. I'm on the wrong side of the mountain. That's what I. That's my conclusion.
Oh, okay. If I go up here, I should be all right. I'm getting a lot of money. So I can get that hat from the place. If I ever find the place again. Am I even on the correct island anymore? I remember there are two islands, but... I don't remember ever leaving the first island. Not since the first time that I left it. Oh, that's where I started. Okay. That's good. So now I just have to go up here. And I'm good, I think. Right? White Coast Trail, Ranger's Cabin. Damn it, where's Hawk Peak? Oh, it's just this way. Okay. Yeah, there's the kid. I don't have enough seashells yet. I'm almost there. Okay, so there's Hawk Peak. I'm gonna go down to the visitor center and get myself that hat. That's a seashell right there. How many seashells is that? 14, the kid needs like 15. Almost there. Hello, good sir. I would like to buy your hat. Yada yada. I'll take it. I got a provincial park hat. Yada 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 yada. Okay. How do I try on the hat? Here's the hat. Yes! That is good. Oops. I think I'm going the wrong way here. Yes, this way. Monies. Wrong way. Oh. Oh, that's a feather right there. I might as well go for it. Bam! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hot Peak Trail. Do, 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 do. Somebody who said they wanted me to meet them there. Maybe I said I wouldn't. Oh, I said maybe. Uh. 
Nine feathers. And it's this way. For Hawk Peak. Easy peasy breezy. Look at that. Oh no. So now it's cold, so some of my feathers are. Are you serious? That's how it's, that's how it is. Oh. Oh my! So you're telling me I don't regain feathers back once I'm up here, or I can just go over there for like? Oh no 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 no! I have to. Yeah, I have to do that. Okay. This is gonna be a tough climb. What's this do? Oh, that's a, must be like a warming pool. Get in the campfire, right? Yada yada yada, feathers, feathers. Geothermal activity. Stop one of the hot springs. Cool. I thought this was supposed to be a short hike. But now it's snowing. Is this where I'm meant to go? Oh my gosh. Okie dokie. The bridge collapsed. There'll be another way up. More golden feathers and rip. Okie dokie. <laughs> I have to go back to a hot springs or whatever. Is this the way I came from? Down here. Okay. This is really like Celeste. Except with getting coins. <laughs> you know, it looks like there's some heat coming out from underneath that rock over there. Okay. And now I'm here with full things. Look at that. It's a pro gamer move. Come on, baby. Yeah. Boom. Top of the mountain. That's a nice view. Can I use my cell phone? No. 
Oh, there we go. This may or may not be slightly relatable. Is there an earthquake? Uh oh. wholesome. Let's catch this updraft. Woo! This, <laughs> this is nice. I have no idea where the cottage is. That's the cottage with the bear. Oh, that means I can follow the trail down. There we go. There's the dude. Who's like, yeah, I'm gonna sell overpriced feathers. Fuck you. Scalping. And this way, I think. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know where to go. I need to go this way. Hello, frog. And then I go up the beach. Is 
Say hi to the kid. And I'm almost back to the cottage. Kaboom. That's nice. The end! We beat the game. That's some pretty good music. There we go. All right, it's time for the third game. The third game is called Gladiabots. Here we go. Whew. My team is blue, enemy team's red. What do I do now? Most are autonomous, you can't control them manually. They obey their artificial intelligence. Okay. It's the AI of the robot I just selected. Two kinds of nodes, conditions and rectangles. Oh no, this is conditions and actions. Okay. 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 Bots can only execute one action at a time. They check their AI from left to right. Okay, control playback using these buttons. Hover over buttons to reveal, reveal their function. So how is this gonna go? All right. Basically, the way it works is that they 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 check if their shield is empty. If the shield is empty, they flee, and if not, they go and kill the robots. And that game just beat itself because it's basic training. So you gotta program your bot to attack the enemy. It's the AI, this is the AI editor. I'm gonna program with bots. Okay, yada yada yada. Link it together. And it's gonna attack the end. Gotcha. Approach, then attack. Okay, so I click on the code window, right? No? Oh. Program to attack short or medium range enemies. It needs to approach first. So we do approach, right? 
and then attack. Yay! Basic training, use your shield. We've got a shield now. Flee from enemy if the shield is empty. This seems simple enough. I feel like it's gonna probably get really complicated. <laughs> That's the only action, okay. Oh, that's super slow. I want super fast. Approach then attack, do it yourself. Got it, got it, got it. Action. Move. And we bought. Right? Maybe? Nope. Nope. Like that. No? Okay. I must be... Must be messing up or something then. Attack close as any being bought at short range or at medium range. Okay. Oh, I have to... So I move within short range or medium range to the closest robot. I thought I was saying, fucking hell. Okay. Hey, swim. And you're advertising, okay. Goodbye, swim. Move toward the enemy bot. Right? Okay. Oof. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Okay, gonna try this again. So in action, we need to move towards the enemy bot, means at medium and long range. And he's inside the, there we go. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, condition node. 
Bam, condition. Myself, shield down. Yes. And then we'll add flee from the robots. Oh, flee the enemy robots. Out of range. Got it. I'm just gonna go. F fuck. Okay, what's the issue there? Shoot, and I should be fleeing right now, right? Because I have it in my condition. If empty shield exists, then I need to move. How about that one? There we go. Okay. If he's carrying a resource, score the resource to the base. Okay. And then I'm going to make another condition. No, I can't add conditions. Okay, whatever. Whatever. So I'm about slow and it can't attack. Mission complete. Domination mode. Capture and hold bases. Damn. I it. Doing control points here. Timer's gonna count down, and there we go. Now I can try campaign mode, okay. Remember, the community made a great video series teaching how to make your first AIs in Gladia bots. Okay, yada yada. I'm gonna try out chapter one, level one. Those people are pink. Oh shit, where the fuck am I? Where did I go? I thought I was in the level. Okay. Starter kits, huh? Starter kit retreat, starter kit, kit attack. Here we go. 
if shotgun class, if machine gun class, if assault class. Okay, got it. How do I go out of the attack kit zone? Oh no. <laughs> I just uh, fit the screen, AI list, toggle selection mode. What the fuck? Skip. I'm gonna try this another time. Okay, I'm in this attack starter kit. How do I get out? Of the attack starter kit, because I want to edit the rest of the stuff. I don't want to look at the at this. Can I hit escape? And that just kicks. That just sends me all the way back. Optimization pack DLC. No, thank you. Continue the tutorial. Team setup. So do I code my things before? What? Okay. So it, it gives me a starter kit for these levels. So at what point do I start playing the game? Player account. Okay, I'm done with this game. I am done with this game. Tell me to make a player account to play the campaign. I own the game. It's giving me, like, what's the point of editing the AI if it already gives me the stuff? If I can get through, like, the first few levels without even changing the starter kit. I actually, I only downloaded three games to play today. So I'm going to grab the next one off the list. Uh, there's so I skipped Celeste because I already played... I've already beaten Celeste on my Steam account, but Celeste is in here. Next one is called Mean Base, and it's got a picture of a cat on it. Planet exploration and survival game with base building. Let's check out Mean Base. In the meantime, uh, I beat a short hike, and I'm done with Gladiobots, so I'm going to put those in the in the recycling bin. Empty that son of a bitch out, and... Oh my gosh, I just deleted like 5 gigabytes of things from my <laughs> recycling bin. That's a lot of damage. Now I'm extracting the files for immune base. Here it is. And then I'm going to start it up. And I'm going to edit the thingy so that we can see what's up. Here we go. And once I set it to full screen, yeah, that's looking good. Options. Tutorial? Who needs a tutorial? Let's just play a normal mission. Name my space cat. It's gonna be Fred Merck. Mercer. Fred Mercer. Ah. 
kitty cat, kitty 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 cat. Is there an orange one? Yes, there is. That's good. Land on the planet MGM 903 and survive for 30 days. Easy peasy. I don't know how to play the game, but I'm a, I'm a super gamer. This is giving me don't starve vibes. What is this? A biofuel generator and an air cleaner. Oh, yes, classic. I do this all the time. What am I meant to do? Maybe I should have played the tutorial. Anyway, I'll build my thingy and my other thingy. And I hope. Oh, yeah, I'm already running out of oxygen. Oh, I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. But I can pick this up. Two plants. Plant and a seed. Two fruits. Fruit is good. My oxygen. How do I get more oxygen? Probably has something to do with the air cleaner, right? Ice. Can I jump? No. Why would I jump? There's nowhere to jump to. So that needs power. Oh, I can put plants in the biofuel generator. And it'll make oxygen for me, right? What do we... Oh, shit. I should probably put that back down. Because it's got to... It's got to do the air cleaning stuff. Oh, here's a crate. Probably need whatever's in here. That's got a workbench and an airlock. An airlock, okay. That seems important. Oh no. That's not where I want it. That's not, that's not where I want that to be. How do I pick it up? Oh, with right click. Okay. So do I have to make a shelter for myself? Oh no. I hope I can jump back in the ship. And it has to be next to the, the generator. Okay. But if it's next to the, the, does it have to be here then? Oh no, I'm about to freaking die. Get me in the ship. Get me in the ship. How do I do this? Give me the oxygen, please. Uh oh. For some reason, I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make it 30 days. Okay, maybe I do need to play the tutorial real quick. Because Fred Mercer, uh, he did not make it. We're going to basically just being a cat. We'll call him Dewdrop. Welcome to the planet, yada 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 yada. So how do I get inside the building? There's some plants over there next to the base, walk over and left click to pick them up. 
hold left click. It should say hold left click. Use those plants to craft food at the workbench. This is gross. Left click on the food in your inventory bar, then right click it to eat. To equip it. Oh. And then I get stuff back? Use these items and craft one. Oh, okay. So make a shovel. Base, your base refills your suit. Go into the airlock and click it to close the door. Bases also have limited supply of oxygen, but this one has an air cleaner that keeps producing more. Well, that's good. Oh, so I can walk into the air cleaner. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I understand how this is supposed to work now. Okay, strange artifacts, yada, yada, yada. And I can't get into there because it doesn't have an airlock. Okay. It's time to do a normal mission. And this is going to be... What's the name for a cat? Garfi. Who? Garfi is a completely original cat. Definitely not related to any other kind of orange cats and my mission is randomized too apparently I'm gonna plot this stuff down I should be going all right and there should be a crate somewhere around here that is the airlock And I really need to find the airlock before I lose all my oxygen, otherwise I'm going to die. Where's the airlock? It's probably back closer to where the ship is. Dang, oxygen goes down pretty fast, huh? I'm already like a quarter of the way to death. I've been playing for like a minute. There it is. Gib airlock. Thank you. And where do I put workbench? I guess workbench goes out here. Plant. Good. I'm gonna make myself a, a shovel. Cause that's important. I need water. Okay. I won't make that right now. Right now I'm going to go into this thing and... Oh yeah, look at that. Clean, clean oxygen. Look how the ears are built into the suit. Do I not... Do I have to be here to... Oh, it's, it just slowly refills the oxygen. Okay. Just have to chill out and chillax. Oh, it's 420. Now it's 4.30. What time is it? 4.30. It's not late. No. Or this, you know, this especially suspiciously has the same pattern as iron ore in Minecraft. Can I make anything with ore? A smelter. But I need scrap metal for that. So I'm going to go around looking for some scrap metal. And I need a different tool for that. I 
Well, maybe I'll be able to smelt this ore into something that I can use to pick up rocks. And I can make potable water, but it looks like there's not a water bar, it's just a hunger bar. So I might just get away with eating fruit instead. Well, then again, what am I going to do with ice other than eat it? What's that over there? That's a box. It's got a paw print on it. NASA gave me a box. What is this? It's an artifact. Oh, okay. One of those things that I glossed over at the end of the tutorial. Oh no. The tutorial didn't tell me about this. Probably because I left it less than halfway through. But you know what? That's fine. It's not like I'm about to run out of power to my biofuel engine and then die. I should probably work on that. There you go. And I can do something here, right? Oh, I need more rocks now. Hey, Birdie. I've been doing some... Basically, I got a bundle of like 5,000 games for $5. And I'm going through and I'm playing them. So I feel like I'm going to have a one day per week where I just go through a few more of these games. This is the fourth game that I've played today. Uh, before that was an airplane game called... Rogues, Rogue Sky. And... Oh, okay, don't worry. Um, for a moment, I got worried. Because I thought you meant the stream was pausing. But I realized that you just mean your phone is making the stream pause. Anyway, the first game was Rogue Sky. And it was about... I should probably eat something. It was... Basically, you're flying in a plane, and you have to destroy things and other things and stuff. You know, the classic stuff. Uh, and then the second one was called A Short Hike, and that was a really nice game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's kind of a wholesome ambiance sort of thing. And then the third one was a game where... It's a game where like robots fight each other, and you have to code the robots to do things for you, except they give you a starter kit with the code that you need to beat the level. So I went through like I went through the tutorial, and then I got to the first level, and the code that they give me for the first level is already enough to win it. So I was like, well, this game uh, is kind of dumb, because I'm just going to go through the first like 10 levels and not even need to change the code. So then, after that, I decided to move on to Moon Base, or Mewn Base. M-E-W-N Base. And this is where you're a cat, and you're an astronaut, and you gotta survive on a distant planet. Now, tell me if I'm right about this, but this ore, it looks suspiciously like an ore texture from a different game, right? Like imagine if the if the background was gray, what would this ore remind you of? Not 1.17. Oh, they switched it up. I haven't been, I haven't been keeping. I've been out of the loop about that stuff. I'm just waiting for. I'm waiting for the update to actually come out, so then I can find out what's in it, rather than look at half finished stuff. Oh, 
I'm almost starving to death here. So I'm going to make a smelter. And I'm going to make some slop, or maybe some water. I'm going to try that out. Does that help? Yeah, that helps the food a lot. And by a lot, I mean a very small amount. Oh, I have to put this next to the generator. Of course, how silly of me. The workbench does not need to be next to the generator. Uh, the new hostile mob is the warden, isn't it? I, I had heard about that guy. He's like attracted to sound. A metal beam and a metal plate. Also, I can expand my house. Right? Maybe. A research lab. The research lab. Oh, I'm almost out of oxygen. I do not know how much damage he does. Six and a half hearts with full netherite armor. Damn. So would he kick an iron golem's ass? Okay. <laughs> So basically, we're going to get absolutely wrecked by that guy. Oh wait, no we're not. Because we can make like three block tall pillars. And then uh, we can just kill it like it's an iron golem or something. Oh shit, what's happening? Oh, I'm hungry. Drink the water. Yes. This is like, don't starve, but with a cat, and also in space. Spawn sound low, so it's hard to do that. Actually, I feel like that would make it easier, because you can just dig into the wall, and then come out above him. But yeah, looks like it's 10 o'clock. That's the end of my streaming slot. I have some, I have some homework to do as well as some exercise. So I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you for telling me about the the scary, the scary scary warden guy. This game, I think I'm done with this game. It doesn't seem particularly interesting. There's like the artifacts, but. I feel like they're not going to do anything crazy. So let me let me see what the next game is going to be for when I do this next week. Uh, I'm looking at the list right now. There are, there are 59 pages of things in this bundle right here. Oh dear. We're, we're starting to get into the weird ones because this uh, this game pack was for uh, like a Black Lives Matter thing. So a lot of a lot of more creative types, we'll call them, uh, put their games to the bundle. And uh, there's some there are some interestingly themed games. The next game is called Art School. 
except school is spelled S Q O O L. And, well, it says let's draw, so I don't I don't think that one is going to be too bad. But there's another game down here called A Mortician's Tale, and it's a deaf positive game. I I don't know what deaf positive is. It's it sounds like something that is going to make me uncomfortable. But there's also Walden, a game which talks about Henry David Thoreau's life in Walden Woods, and that might be some that might be chill. That might be chill. And then lower down is called Lena's Inception, which is a Game Boy style game, and I am looking forward to some nostalgia playing on the Game Boy. And then the game the game on this page that I'm most worried about is called Extreme Meat Punks Forever. And it's called or the description says, gay disaster mech pilots killing fascists. And this just, it's going to be an experience for sure. For sure. I don't know if I'm going to get to that next time because there, there are like nine games in between there. So that might be for uh, a couple weeks from now. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that on someday. I'm also working on redoing my schedule because I might be taking a uh, martial arts class around this time t on these days so i'll keep you posted anyway have a wonderful night i have been ethan sito and i will continue being ethan and hopefully you'll continue being you <laughs>